Okay, welcome back to another app inventor video. This is basically going to be an experimental video. I made an app like this. It was an XL app. I'm going to make something more simple this time. I was thinking I'm going to do a day planner app. So let's get to work. First, I want to do some settings inside the screen. So I'm gonna have to decide what I want. So this needs to, I'm gonna keep that on central. And I might change, let me see. I might actually change my, uh, let me see. I think, yeah, I'm gonna change my theme to black. So you can't really see the difference between themes, but on my tablet, the theme's now different. So let's go ahead and put in a layout, horizontal arrangement. Let's go ahead and put in a label, a text box, and a button. So as you can see, they all all they all have text in them. Can't see it on the text box, but it says hint for text box one on the On the tablet. So let's very quickly change this. I'm gonna put in what you want to write down. What you want to write down. And then over here, I'm gonna change the hint to put in text and I'm going to change the button it's text to done so I am going to rename this button saying done bt for done button and this is gonna be text. We text. Okay. So now that that's done, let's put a list view and another button. And let's change this to save. So tell me what other challenges I should do. Do not think the video is over, I still have to do all the coding, but tell me what other challenges you think I should do. So, I'm going to rename the save button to save. So, that's really all I'm going to do over here. It's not going to be the best looking thing, but let's go ahead and switch it over to blocks. We are going to do when down button is clicked. We are gonna put something inside it. So we're gonna have to make available available. You can think as a bucket. So we're gonna need to put something inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our available name. I'm gonna put this in list. I'm gonna say list. And we're gonna create an empty list. Then, um, on the done button click, we're going to need to add some items to the list. So, as I said, the available is basically a bucket and we're going to put inside a list. So, let's go ahead. So, this is basically telling it which list. And we're Gonna say a list that is inside the bucket. Or in other words, you could say the list that is inside the view. So let's go ahead and put something inside it. It needs to be the text. 
with a text box, right? Because that's what you want to store. So we're making a list with <laughs> what you said on it. So now we're gonna need to do some stuff with the list view. So to start, we are going to need to add stuff to it. So we're gonna go to set list view dot elements to, and we are going to go to our variables and global list. On and list view after picking, we are going to delete it. So this is very easy to do. We are going to go to remove item from list. The list is global list. And our index is selection index. So what this is telling it to do is it's going to remove an item from the list. The list is inside the variable global list. And the selection index is the one that you clicked on. So basically, I don't know how I can explain this, but the one that you selected always has an index. Each port in a list has an index for the list view. So we're basically taking the index of the one that you selected and removing that from the list. So now we have one more thing to do. We have to update the list view. So we're gonna, that's very simple. We are going to go to set list view element to something and we are going to drag out a variable and global list so let's go ahead and test that out okay that is now working so now we need to program our save button so how are we going to do that? Right now, we can't, but if we head into designer, we can go to storage. And now, if we drag tinyDB in, now we can actually store something. So tinyDB is basically a tiny database inside your device where well, it can hold stuff. So we are going to drag out call tiny db store val tag val to store. So we are gonna put this under the save button and we are going to take the tag. So we're just gonna drag a text out and let's call this list so it's if you had so many of these it's basically gonna make a file called list and it's gonna store all of your stuff inside it but which can come in handy when you have tons of these because you can make different files so the value to store is just all available get global list so that's really all we have to do to save it. So let's test that out. So in order to test that out, you can close your app on the tablet, come back in, and you'll still see it. You don't even have to click the save button. But if you actually head on up and click the build button and click provide QR code for .apk. This is actually gonna make a real app, basically. So I'm gonna click stop and exit, and let me go try this out. So, let me scan this QR code. And, now you're just gonna have to click install, continue, and basically fill out what it 
want you to fill out, but make sure you say okay to everything. So there might be something that says blocked by PayPal text. Do not click okay to this, click install anyway. So as you can see, that is not working. So why it's not working is we are saving it into the file, but when we start the app back up, we never said to get the file again. So how to fix that is we're just gonna go to screen one, one screen one initialized, and we're gonna set list view one elements to to all save where we saved it so we're gonna head into tinydb call get the value and now it's gonna ask us what file is it in it's in list as we saved it over here if the value is not there let's just that means we're gonna have to create an empty okay so let's try this out now go to build again and provide qr code and as you can see it is working i did change my tag if it's not try changing your tag make sure you change both of them though so that's it for this video